this Philippians 1 and 16. The one preach a Mashiach of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. <clears throat> First and foremost, I to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Makakwadash, the burns to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. So he takes into you, Akin, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, with charity. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. Uh, we who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to do a response to uh, the elders uh, Yasha Wamba's lesson. GMS defending the Apostle Paul is not siding with the Christians. You know, I suggest you watch the elders' lesson, you know. But we're set for the uh, defense of the gospel, man. All right, and as we hear other people slander a uh, fellow brother in Yahweh Shai, hold on, um, you know we're gonna um, we're gonna defend. Matter of fact, let me get it. All right, this is uh Sirach twenty two and twenty five. I will not be ashamed to defend a friend, neither will I hide myself from him. All right? So we're set for the defense of the gospel, okay? And a good majority of the gospel was written by uh, the Apostle Paul, man. All right? You know, the Apostles to the Gentiles, man. You know, a lot of his writings clarify, you know, what, what this whole thing is about, you know? And it uh it re and removes pride from men, right? Because we understand that Yahweh Shai is our righteousness, that we can um go out to go about to establish our own righteousness, right? Our uh, scripture says our righteousness is filthy rags. All right. It expounds um, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, what he came to do. All right. A lot of things are expounded, man, and and, our, and how we um, are reconciled to Yahweh is through Yahweh Shai. You know, we we learn a lot of this through the writings of Paul, which the scriptures, you know, like Peter said, a lot of the things that he uh, wrote were are hard to be understood. That's why the scripture says, "He that have ears, let him hear." Man, but we're set for the defense of the gospel, man. So, you know, we're not. You know, you, you know, he's just got Deacon uh, Hakai basically trying to say that we're siding with the Christians. No, we're not siding with the Christians. All right. We're siding with the truth. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is you've been you guys have been making a fool of yourselves, man. All right. Because it, it could all be so simple. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know, it could all be so simple. But uh, you're wrestling, as the scripture says, as Paul Peter says, you know, them that are, um, matter of fact, all right, yeah, might as well get it. This is Second Peter 3 and 15. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. Right, it's the head of the church, uh, big enough Paul, man. All right, this is the head of the church. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of things in which of some things hard to be understood, right? Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. That's where you guys, that's the path we see you guys going down and leading people down. So it's our job to, Correct that, man. All right? Because what do you just talk about them that subvert whole houses, man? Teaching things that they are not. And that's what we see you guys doing, man. That's what this is about. That's what these videos are about. That's what this rebukes, these rebukes are about, all right? It's not about, see, the thing with you guys is you think of, you're a carnal-minded, all right? And you think everything 
on a level of personal gain. All right. Because in your mind, you can't fathom somebody who just really fears and loves the Lord and really just because because you don't just really fear and love the Lord, man. You you have a uh, you, you you have your God is your belly, man. That's why you niggas are selling everything, man. So you can't understand somebody not having any ulterior motives, man. So you got to create a scenario in your mind. Well, the reason why you guys are saying this is because you're all siding with the Christians. What are we, are you claiming that we're trying to get something from the Christians or something? We're trying to team up with, what do you, you guys are just, and and, and that's the reason why you how about Shimei Al-Shah is breaking that thing up, man. All right. That's why that thing is if this council of, the, of this work was of men, it will come to naught, man. But if it be of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, you cannot overthrow it. See, you guys are, uh, as Christian says, unless Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah build the house, they labor in vain to build it, man. You guys are building some other shit, man. That's why the Lord told us to, to about taking heed how ye build, man. Other men's are have labored, and we are entered into their labors, man. All right, there's a certain br- blueprint and a curriculum, you know, here at Great Mills that the Lord has given. It's His doctrine, man. What did Yahweh Shah said? He said, "My doctrine is not my own, man. Uh, it's my Father's doctrine, basically. This is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. In any other blueprint, okay, or it says no other. Hold on, let me give you. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 6. I have planted Apollo's water, but Yahweh gave the increase, right? And every plant that the Lord hasn't planted is going to be uprooted, man. That's why Sakari is being uprooted, man. All right. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watered, but Yahweh that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are for we are laborers together with Yahweh. We are Yahweh's husbandry. We are Yahweh's building. According to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. See, you, that's why we're getting on you guys, man. Because you're not being a wise master builders, man. All right. You're building with untempered mortar, and and your building is collapsing. It's collapsing in front of everybody, man. So hey, outside could get mad, and you know you could feel like how you feel about y'all break. Nobody gives a fuck about you guys. Get you guys are full of yourself, man. Nobody cares about you guys breaking up or any of that shit. We we care about is the proper doctrine. All right. <laughs> the proper dropper, all right? Let me read that again. According to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Right, man. So you got to take heed how you building, man. For an other foundation can no man lay than that is laid which is which is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, so hey man, you guys are building on another foundation, man, and it's gonna falter and it's gonna fall, man. That's what we're telling you, man. All right, now if any man build, uh, 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 right, because uh, um. Well, basically, as you read down, it it goes into how the Lord's going to try your building, man. All right, and 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 now that the Lord is testing it, it, it your shit is falling, man. Well, let me get another scripture. Bear with me. All 
All right, this is Ezekiel 13 and 10. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace, if one built up a wall and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar, right? And 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 a hey, uh, Sakari, they're teaching that too, man. They're teaching the people that they're gonna have peace, man. They're basically saying that the missiles, uh, they're not gonna hit over here. Uh, they're gonna hit somewhere else. Well, no, I think they teach that the two thirds are, are are not gonna be here in America. That the two thirds are are, are are gonna be found somewhere else, you know. And um, one thing I can say about Alize, he loves two thirds because most likely he is one. It's probably why he's teaching that now. But uh, let me read on. Say unto them which dubbed it with untippered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstones, shall fall in stormy. Yea, great hailstones shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rend it. All right? So, hey, man, your doctrine is like building a wall with untempered mortar. Lo, when the wall is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the dubbing wherewith ye have dubbed it? All right? Therefore, it does save your Howard. So it's going to be said unto you, okay, where's all that you was talking, man? All right. Where's all that um, Paul's writings ain't accurate and all that, man? When that wall falls on you, man, that's what's going to be said to you. And you're going to be laughed to scorn, man. Therefore, it does save your Howard power. I will even rend it with a stormy wind. In my fury, there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So, yeah, it's no looking good, man. You know, because Scripture says, knowledge and wisdom shall be the st stability of thy time, man. All right, those that have been rooted and grounded in a true proper doctrine, those are the ones that are going to stand, man, when that stormy wind hits, man. All right. But you guys, you're going to be easily uprooted, man. I mean, look what's happening to you right now. We're already, we're just in a green tree, man. If these things shall be done in a green tree, what should be done in the dry, man? You guys are already turning the reservoir dogs, man. You know? But why? Because that is not of your how about Shimei Shah, man. You know? And truth be told, Alize has gotten what he wanted, man. He's a superstar Hoover Crip, man. He he used he used the Bible to become a superstar Hoover Crip, man. All right. The Crips would have never accepted him in the real world, you know, before he woke up to he was an Israelite. He had to become an Israelite and then become a Crip. All right. He used the Israelite thing to get fame. All right. Sorry if it was any of you guys that really believed in the truth and, and thought that he did. Well, sorry to to uh, bust your bubble, but that guy, he's in it for money and fame, man. Now he could be a, a, a Hoover Crip with street cred. You know, all the stories he talk about, yeah, we was teaching and then we was in conflict. I was we, we we teach on Saturdays, we gang banging Sunday. Alright? That that's what he really wanted to do, man. You know. He's in his element, man. <laughs> you know. But hey, we're warned we've warned you and we we're, we're warning you now. And we're hey look, man, we're set for the defense of the gospel, man. Alright? We're here to defend the sheep from the wolves, man. And if you don't like it, the hell with you, man. We, we don't give a damn. But yeah, pretty much that's all I got, Shalom.